Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you all had a lovely Easter weekend. We had a wonderful weekend. We spent the Saturday with friends, Sunday with Lou's family, and then Monday with my family. So it was just lovely. <laughs> and Lottie, is, she just loved it. She's such a sociable little bunny, and so she loves being around people. So she had the best time. Um, she's literally just falling off to sleep now. She's had a feed, and now I've popped her in a carrier because we're about to go. We're about to go for a little morning walk. This is her sleepy noise that she makes when she's about to fall asleep. She kind of just makes that little noise. So she will be fast asleep probably before we even leave the house. I do usually try and do walks on her wake window so that we can kind of like walk along and talk about the things that we're seeing, which usually is just trees and houses and cars. <laughs> Um, but today it's just so happened that this is the first little bit of sun that we've had. It's been kind of raining on and off all morning and the sun has finally come out. So I thought, let's get out and get some fresh air. So that's what we're about to do. Um, but I thought whilst we were out on our morning walk, I would leave you with some fashion content that I filmed yesterday, which is a free people order. And when I tell you the pieces that I ordered, there are some real gems in this order, some really, really lovely pieces. So I thought that'd be a more entertaining way to start the vlog um, rather than coming for a sunny or what could be rainy morning walk with us. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you with that and then we can catch up when we get back from the walk. Okay, so the first piece that I ordered from Free People is this gorgeous ribbed maxi dress. And I feel like I am well and truly ready for spring in this outfit. I've even got tan sandals on. I did pop it on at first with my beige beiges and I do think it looks nice like this, like that for this time of year. But when I started with the tan sandals and then this, um, kind of a tan and canvas bag. I feel like this is just a ready-made spring outfit. It is just gorgeous. I've just moved my hair back so you can see the neckline properly. Um, and as you can see, it's quite a wide, like a little bit of a scooped neck. Um, love the fact that the sleeves are long as well. I like that they come down over my hands and I'm wearing the dress in a size small and I would say the size small fits me perfectly. It's quite roomy. You could definitely belt it in if you wanted it to cinch in on the waist more, but I quite like the way it, it hangs and drapes really nicely. The only thing I would say is make sure you steam this dress before you try it on. If you do order it, make sure you steam it or iron it first because when I first pulled it out of the bag um, and tried it on, the bottom was a little bit crumpled and it just didn't hang as nice, like as nicely at all. Um, but then once I steamed it and put it back on, it just hangs perfectly like the way it drapes it just yeah i just love it i think it looks perfect start like this um just a really really lovely piece next up is some loungewear and you may recognize this set if you follow me on instagram or if you watched my previous free people video a few months well actually it's probably about six months ago now because i remember i was pregnant with lottie and i ordered this set in the cream and in fact, I ordered it in the same size that I'm wearing now. I ordered it in the small and it I, wear, I wore it so much when I was, whilst I was pregnant. And then after I had Lottie, I still wore it and it still fitted me perfectly because it's got so much stretch in it. Um, but I got it in the cream and like I said, I wore it so much that when I saw it in the grey, I thought it would just come in so handy. Um, it does also come in a few other colours as well, but for me, these are kind of the, this is just the perfect like loungewear for wearing at home. Um, but equally, I do sometimes wear the pieces separately as well, like with the cream, I wear the cardigan with jeans sometimes, like a really lovely, really lovely basic cardigan to wear with jeans, um, but it looks so lovely as a loungewear set as well. Um, so like I said, I'm wearing it in a size small and it fits me so, like I like the fact that it's like a little bit roomy, but obviously if you were pregnant, then if you are pregnant, then it does also have a lot of room for a growing bump as well. Um, and then the trousers are high-waisted, high stretchy waistband and elasticated cuffs, but it just feels so comfortable on. It's really soft, it hangs really nicely. It's just one of those pieces that I kind of reach for when I'm at home and I just want comfortable loungewear. Really lovely quality. Um, and yeah, like I said, lots of other colors as well. So I, in fact, I'll try and insert, like I filmed a reel, reel with it in the cream 
when I was pregnant. I'll try and insert that so you can see how it looks in the cream as well. You can tell I must have been in a very spring summer mood when I placed this order from Free People because the next piece that I ordered is this gorgeous bag which is just perfect for coming into spring summer. I have just popped a couple of like items and clothing in there just to pad it out a bit more because it's one of those pieces that just hangs so much better when it's full rather than when it's empty it just sits a bit flat but it's just gorgeous it's in like a kind of hessian sort of if i just show you the fabric it's quite a soft fabric as well so i feel like it's one of those pieces you could chuck loads into and like i said it just be looks better the more the more the fuller it is. I feel like this would be perfect for holiday. You could take this like as a carry-on bag on the plane and then use it as a beach bag um, on holiday. It's just really lovely and yeah also looks great with this outfit as well. I feel like this styled with the dress works really well too. Okay sticking with loungewear because at the moment I'm at home pretty much most days and so I'm living in loungewear um, but I like to wear nice kind of matching sets although I say loungewear this could definitely be worn like I've styled it at the moment with some tan sandals and bag as well and I feel like I, I would definitely wear this out as well I feel like this is kind of like nice comfortable loungewear that you could dress up with a blazer over the top as well and wear it as an outfit um, but it is another matching cord um and again i went for cream in this and i know like i go, i tend to go for like creams and beiges and neutral colors but they're just the kind of colors i get the most wear out of and i knew that this set would be one of those pieces that i would just yeah like i said wear at home comfortable but also can wear out and about as well so first of all the jumper is just such a lovely fit i love the fact that it's a little bit longer it comes down a little bit longer at the back as well and i like the fact that the sleeves are long and they flare out a little bit it is a ribbed fabric it does also come in like a charcoal gray color as well i believe i will leave the other color option linked as well and then these are the matching trousers and again i would recommend steaming these before you try them on because I tried them on at first and they didn't sit too well at the bottom but once they've been steamed they sit so much better. Um, I am five foot six for comparison and lengthwise they work really well styled like this with tan sandals but also would be great just styled with slippers at home. How cute is this waistcoat? I have just popped it on with some white like creamy white wide leg trousers and then the bag as well. So I am well and truly, I feel like I've skipped spring and I'm just straight into summer outfits. <laughs> um, but I would also wear this in spring as well. I feel like I've just kind of styled it a little bit more summery. I'm wearing this in a size small and you can see it's a little bit, like ever so slightly boxy fit. It kind of just dips up a little bit on the hips. Love it styled like this. But actually I think maybe with a pair of jeans, like a double denim look could, could work as well. Next up is this gorgeous denim jumpsuit and I love this but annoyingly it is a little bit too big. I don't know if you can tell. In fact let me just show it to you as a full first. If I stand on my tiptoes. Um, so ideally I would wear it like this with like a little heel or a pair of wedges. I love how it looks but it is quite roomy around the top. Like it's just a little bit too big around here. I would definitely need to size down. I'm wearing it in a US for so a UK 8 but I think it might run a little bit on the large side I definitely need it in a um, UK 6 instead just to pull it in a little bit more and also it has got quite a bit of stretch in it as well so I feel like you could definitely size down if you are in between sizes but it is so lovely I mean just for spring summer with a little basket bag how cute is that it's such a lovely little jumpsuit in fact I did actually order I've ordered another jumpsuit as well I ordered two to compare but looking at the other one, I feel like that one might be a little bit big as well. I will quickly show you the other one on as well. But I think that that one's going to be a little bit too big. So I will decide which one I prefer and then order it in the correct size. But I think, I think it's going to be this one. I think I'm just going to have to size down in this one because I just love, I love the fact that it's strapless. I love the fact that it's got this little belt. You could also switch that up and pop a little tan belt on with it instead. Also, I feel like I could probably get away of wearing it with a flat shoe if I wanted to. And then just to quickly show you, this is the other denim jumpsuit, which is also really cute. Different style, a little bit more casual, I would say. Um, but again, this is a little bit too big around here and kind of all over. So I would need to size down in this one. But I have just popped this one on with some sandals and I do think it looks cute. 
Um, and again, it feels comfortable. The denim is nice and soft, but it is a little bit too big as well. But let me know which one you prefer. I think I, I think I prefer the first one, but let me know which one you think looks better. Next up is this gorgeous cord, and I feel like this would be perfect for summer or for holidays as well. So it's like a matching waistcoat and then these lightweight trousers. They're kind of in like a, almost cross between like a linen and like a cheesecloth fabric. Really soft and very kind of holiday-ish. They feel very lightweight. Um, I have got the top on, the waistcoat on at the moment without a bra, which for me at the moment isn't the most practical with my lactating boobs. <laughs> um, but, Coming into summer, I feel like you could definitely wear it with a bikini, like on holiday or in summer, you could wear it, definitely wear it with a bikini top underneath it or without a bra as well. This would also look lovely with a pair of jeans as well or denim shorts. And then these are the matching trousers. So again, very lightweight. They are a little bit sheer, so you would need to wear nude underwear with them. Um, but I've just styled them with, again, tan sandals and a tan bag. And yeah, again, feeling like I'm in the middle of summer already. <laughs> I'm getting very ahead of myself. Um, but yeah, if I just quickly show you the back, you can see it does just tie at the back. I definitely need a bit of tan on my back, but it just ties there. And then like I said, behind the neck and yeah, just very comfortable, very cool and like drapey. And again, I think that this one comes in a few other color options as well. And then the final piece that I ordered from Free People is this little white crop top, like workout workwear top. Um, I've just popped it on with a pair of leggings, which are also from Free People, but I've had these for a while. Um, but obviously it doesn't match, but I don't mind it when um, kind of active wear doesn't match. I feel like it kind of, still works as a mix and match set. I need to get myself back in the gym. I haven't been since before, well, obviously before having Lottie, I didn't go towards the end. I, I haven't been for quite a long time. <laughs> um, so I just thought a new crop top, not that you need new, new active wear to encourage you to go to the gym, but I thought that this was just a nice style. And I also like the fact that it is a little bit longer. A lot of my other ones are quite short. And I just like the fact that it was a little bit longer, um, but you can also kind of like, cinch it up a little bit if you want to. The fabric is so soft, it's such a lovely kind of buttery soft fabric. I'm wearing it in a size small and I probably could have sized down to the extra small because there was a lot of room in there. Um, but yeah, I love Free People Active Wear. I've got a few sets from there and I wear them so much and so I just thought this was just a really nice, simple, simple little crop top. Um, and that is everything that I ordered from Free People. I will of course leave everything linked below, I'll pop the sizes I'm wearing for each piece down below as well. Any questions, you just leave a comment and I will get back to you. Um, and let me know your favourite piece. The flowers are waking beneath the warm sun. Lottie the fairy, no spring has begun. The moon shines in silvery beams. Lottie sleeps soundly with magical dreams. And should we read Stickman? Because Mummy likes this one, doesn't she? Stickman lives in the family tree with his stick lady love and their stick children three. Here comes Dad with a spade in his hand. Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the sand. <gasps> a mast, yells the Dad. An excellent mast. Hooray! There's a flag on our castle at last. I'm not a mast for a silly old flag, or a sword for a knight, or a hook for a bag. I'm not a pen, I'm not a bow, I'm not a bat or a boomerang, no. I'm Stickman, oh Stickman, beware of the snow. Here comes a boy in a warm woolly scarf, an arm for my snowman, he says with a laugh. I'm not an arm, can nobody see? I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, that's me. Will I ever get back to my family tree? You don't want to put that in your mouth. You don't want mummy's hair in your mouth. Stickman is lonely, Stickman is lost. Stickman is frozen and covered in frost. Stickman is weary, his eyes start to close. Stretches 
and yawns and lies down for a doze. I'm stick man, that's me. And I'm sticking right here in my family tree. Enjoy that gorgeous gal. You like stick man, well mummy likes stick man, doesn't she? You like stick man too? Even if it is a bit Christmassy. We can read Christmas books in the spring, can't we? Yes, we can. It is the following day now. I know that I said that I was going to catch up with you yesterday when we got back from my walk, but I d honestly, I don't know where the day goes. I feel like I, that happens every day at the moment. Since having Lottie, the days just fly by. We got back from the walk, we did a little bit of reading, we did a little bit of playing, then we had another nap, and honestly, the day just flew by, so I didn't end up picking up my camera. I think I did vlog when I was reading, so I might have put that in there. I might not have done. Um, but we had another lovely day, didn't we? Lottie's just next to me now, playing in her little um, little play gym thing, which we have got so much use out of. It was just from, I think actually I've mentioned this before, but anyway, it was just a little Amazon purchase. I think I paid about 30, 40 pounds for it, something like that. And she used it every single day. Um, but anyway, today I thought I would show you, I've ordered a few bits that I thought I would show you, a couple of bits like to unbox with you guys that I've got in the hallway. Before I did that, I wanted to quickly show you a few bits that Lottie got for Easter because she got the cutest little bits. First of all, this book, how cute is that? It's called Lottie the Fairy Bunny. It's not like a personalised one, it actually is called, the book is actually called Lottie the Fairy Bunny. It's a jelly cat one. Um, and this was from Lottie's auntie Shan, Lou's sister. And it's just the sweetest. So lovely. We've already read that about, I'd say about eight times already <laughs> since getting it on oh. Sunday. Um, we spent the day with Lou's family on the Sunday. We did a lovely beach walk. And then we went back to Lou's parents for a lovely roast dinner, which was wonderful. Um, and then she also got this book from Lou's other sister, Ellie. Lottie's auntie Ellie. And this is a little fluffy chick one, which these are a bit, this is a bit like the That's Not My Books, which I've also got a few of, which she loves. Um, just like the sensory, kind of like strokey, touchy books. Um, another book, this one was from my mum. This is called On the Night You Were Born. And this is lovely as well. We've already read this a few times. In fact, actually, I read, well, I didn't read it. When my mum gave it to me on Easter Day, she was like, um, read, just read the first page or read a bit of it. And I was like, I'm not going to cry because I read, she got me a book at Christmas for Lottie, or she got Lottie a book at Christmas. And we're, is he okay? He pulled it down. Has he pulled it down? Let me make it squeak. Where's the squeaker gone? Where's the squeaker gone? There it is. Um, yeah, anyway, she got Lottie a book for Christmas, and when I read that one out, I mean, I couldn't even read the first two lines without crying, so Lou ended up reading it to her instead. But when she said, read it out, I was like, I'm not going to cry, like, I didn't feel at all emotional. And then, because I, I was thinking, she's thinking I'm going to cry, I'm not going to cry. And then I read it, and I was like, on the night you were born, the moon smiled with such wonder that the stars peeked in to see you, and the night wind whispered, life will never be the same because there had never been anyone like you ever in the world and literally i read i got like the first three three lines and i was like oh, can't read it so yeah definitely emotional when it comes to lovely books but it's just such a nice book now it's from my mum and my mum also got her this toy which she's been loving this is called Larry the lamb um, but it's got like basically Lottie loves like she always finds the labels on things and she loves playing with the labels and so my mum spotted this and thought that Lottie would love it because it's got like labels all over it and she has been absolutely loving it and it's like a little spring little spring lamb as well so she's been really loving playing with that um, and it's full of bean bags too it's just a really nice soft toy uh, but she has still managed to find the actual labels on it like even though it's got all of these tags all over she still plays with the labels more <laughs> um and was that everything i feel like you've got something else as well oh she got a little this little toy was from one of lou's friends when we went around there on the saturday she left with like a little party bag and this was in there just like a really cute little bunny rabbit um rattle and then you also got those cute little, oh, these little socks from one of Lou's other friends. Well, I say Lou's friends, they're my friends as well, but they're Lou's friends, partners. 
But another one of the girls got Lottie these cute little slipper socks. These, I think they're from Sainsbury's, but they've got like little rattles inside. And again, Lottie's been loving having these on laying on her back, like kicking around. She loves playing with her feet. You got some really lovely bits, didn't you? Some really lovely bits. Oh, and she also got the cutest pyjamas from my sister as well. They, in fact, let me go and grab them quickly. Oh, <laughs> you are rolling all over the place. Literally, I cannot walk out the room for a minute without her rolling over. You, munchkin, I think I might need to get like a little playpen for her. Um, obviously, I'm with her in the same room all the time, but for those moments when I like nip to get something, she's just, she's rolling, she's gone. So I think I need to get something to contain her. Um, not that I want to like put her in a pen and leave her, obviously, but just something to like keep her, keep her safe. Keep you safe, like roll you back over. Oh, there you go. Um, and then these were the PJs that my sister got her and how cute are they? In fact, they're her first actual pair of like proper PJs. They're only from Tesco's. But I feel like they look like they could be from like the white company. They are so lovely. Um, and they've got like little bunnies all over them. Little bunnies and little pink trim. And then obviously the matching pajama bottoms. Although the first night that she wore them um, on Easter evening, I woke up the next day and these were just in a heap at the bottom of her sleeping bag. She kicked them off. So I don't know if I didn't pull them up quite well enough. But yeah, lovely. And my sister also got her little Easter baby girl that said my first Easter on it. But that's in the wash, so I'll pop a little picture of that in. So cute. So she got some really lovely little Easter bits, didn't you, Missy? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You got some really lovely Easter bits. Um, anyway, I am going to go and grab a few of the boxes of some bits that I wanted to show you. Pop these bits away and... Um, I might also get busted down for a little nap in the meantime, and then I'll show you the bits that we got, that I got, that I've got to show you. <laughs> and Rafi got a new bed for Easter, not really for Easter, but he got a new, a new bed. Um, but he just enjoys being on the sofa or in our bed far too much, so I need to get him used to using it. I mean, it looks lovely, um, but I need to get him used to using it. So any tips for encouraging a dog to use their bed. We do give them treats in there. And like, well, I've started when the door goes, I say, Rafi, in your bed, and then give him a treat if he goes to his bed so that I can answer the door without him escaping. <laughs> um, but yeah, when it comes to sleeping, he is far too happy napping on the sofa. I'm back. Um, Lottie is not napping. She is playing with Nanny. My mum's here with me today. So she is in the other room playing and reading with Lottie. And then she probably will go down for a nap in a bit, I would imagine. She's still got no routine, but she's still just going, like she's so easy and she just goes with the flow and I just go with the flow and it works for us. So I am aware that we probably will have to start a routine at some point, but at the moment, like it just, it just works. It just, it works. So anyway, she's my mum at the moment. And as you can see, I've got a couple of boxes here and a couple of little ones down there as well. I've got a pair of shoes and a bag and these have been sat in my hallway for the past few days and I've been waiting patiently to unbox them with you guys. So I'm going to start off with the bag. This is from a brand called Demelia and their bags are just so beautiful. They remind me a little bit of Polen, like that similar, similar price point um, but similar very like kind of like designer quality, but um, at a fraction of the price of like obviously high-end designer bags. So they've just got some really, really beautiful bags. And they very kindly offered, like they sent me their new, I think it's like their new spring lookbook and asked if I'd like to choose one of the bags. And so of course I said I would love to. It says, dear Charlotte, Thanks for all your support, with love, the Demelia team. And I'm so excited, I feel like this is just like, going to be the perfect spring bag for me because it's a little bit bigger than a lot of my current spring bag. Because these days I cannot go out with a little bag. I need, I need a bigger bag, especially obviously if I'm not taking my Lottie's changing bag with me. Um, so, oh, oh the color of the leather is just, oh, that is 
beautiful how gorgeous is that i there were so many lot on the lookbook that i love but i just thought a classic tan tote you cannot go wrong with i think this is just the style of bag that i would just get so much use out of I, i'm like a i'm quite a practical I, I like a i like a practical bag so i thought this just being able to chuck get the tissue out of it just being able to chuck loads into it like i can obviously i usually have lottie's changing bag for me anyway but for those times when i want to take a nice bag um i can just put i can also fit anything that i need for her in there um or like even those days when i'm going up to london not that i've been up to london for ages because i just i don't know i've been very kind of like since having lottie i haven't really wanted to go up to london with her um, and I also haven't wanted to leave her to go there. So I know everyone's different. I'm just very like, I don't know. I can't, I don't know when I'm going to be ready to be like, right, I'm going to leave you for the day. I'm going to leave you for the night. Like I'm just not there yet. Um, and anyway, I'm digressing. But those days when I do go to London for the day, this is just a really handy everyday bag as well. So I love it. I think the colour of the tan is beautiful. It's like a really rich brown it's just got a little branding at the bottom and then this gold clasp as well so super happy with that love that i can't wait to start that up with some spring outfits as well so i've got my mulberry tan bag which i love i use a lot in the spring well all year round really but something a little bit bigger like this oh beautiful love that and then this is a pair of sandals from russell and bromley um, they have, they are opening a new store in, I think they said Hampstead, but they're opening a new store and they did invite me to the store opening, but like I said, not, not ready to kind of go all the way up to London with or without Lottie at the moment. <laughs> and also I'm feeding, so I, she's not taking bottles, so I'm just like kind of solely breastfeeding, so I can't obviously leave her at the moment. But anyway, they very kindly offered to send a pair of shoes out as I couldn't make the store opening. So again, they sent out like a lookbook of their new in spring pieces. And I thought that these sandals were just gorgeous and very like practical. <laughs> practical, but lovely at the same time. Like they are obviously like, they looked really comfortable, but also very kind of like, should I just show you? I'll just show you. Oh, they are so gorgeous how lovely are these i feel like they're like a nice like like the similar style to a birkenstock but a bit more kind of classy like a bit more of like a like a dressed up version of a birkenstock maybe let's say that but yeah love them just plain black leather gold buckles i've got a little bit of branding that says russell and bromley on the side and on the back as well and i went for a size five i always i'm always in between i'm a four and a oh yeah they fit like an absolute glove i'm a four and a half but i thought i'd go for a five and they fit perfectly they are lovely and this is just the style of shoe that i wear a lot i say kind of like spring summer because i think even in spring these with like jeans um and like an everyday outfit work perfectly so love those very happy with those um and then a few beauty bits first of all when this came through the door obviously it was in a box as well but YSL bag I was like oh what an absolute treat and they sent out four four or five five of their lipsticks so these are the YSL love shine high shine caring lipsticks I think this sounds good this is the shade 150 nude lingerie I haven't looked at any of them yet um oh that packaging look how gorgeous love the ysl lipstick packaging oh that is beautiful should we swatch that oh that is such a pretty shade that is so me so it's like a kind of like coral but i have oh that feels lovely mm, it feels oh it smells lovely as well it feels like a lip balm i have already got lipstick on underneath obviously but it feels like a lip balm and it tastes like really fruity so that's how it looks on my hand you can see it's like a lovely sheen to it and then i have just popped it on over the top of the lipsticks that i already had on but really pretty it's kind of like a like a dark red color this one is in the shade nude lavelier i believe 
probably pronounce like, oh, I like that as well. So like that's similar to the one I've just popped on, but a bit more of like a pinkier shade. Can you see, by the way, excuse my nails, I've picked one of, one of my gel nails off, I need to redo them. Caramel Swirl, I bet that's gonna be like a brownie nude. Oh yeah, it is a brownie nude. Oh, it's actually a lot browner than I expected, to be fair. Caramel Swirl, this is the Double Care Balm in the shade Nude Pleasure, let me try. Oh, that's lovely as well. Can you see that that's kind of like, again, a lip balm. Really nice. I feel like this is gonna be, again, super hydrating. Um, and then I also got some new in makeup bits from Armani, which again is an absolute treat. This is the Luminous Silk Foundation, which I feel like I'm the only person that's never tried this. I've seen so many people raving about this foundation, but I have never tried it. I'm just gonna try a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh, that looks like a good shade. Oh, perfect. It's like a little bit, I quite like a foundation to have a little bit of a yellowy tint to it rather than a pinky tint. Um, and that has exactly that. Then this is the perfect shade concealer. This is in the shade five. It actually looks a little bit light in the container, but I think once it's on and blended in, that should work. This is a glow enhancer. What's that? Oh, that is pretty. Look at that showing up very well. I feel like it's a little bit bleached out over here. I don't know if it goes on underneath your foundation or over the top. It just says glow enhancer. Oh, it says highlighter. So I'm guessing it goes on, well, probably does go on over the top. And then a couple of blushes as well. This is in the shade and more. Oh, that is pretty. <gasps> that is so lovely. I love a bright pink blush like that because even though it looks over the top in the container, like in the, um, looks like bright like that. I feel like once it's on, they blend out so beautifully. And this is, oh, that reminds me a little bit of um, NARS Orgasm. It's like that peachy, shimmery shade. Gorgeous. Very, very beautiful shades. I definitely feel like I need to do a full face. Maybe tomorrow morning, if I'm still vlogging, which I hopefully will be, I will use all of these products and then show you kind of like a full face using the foundation, the concealer, all of those and show you my makeup like that because I feel like it's annoying me unboxing makeup and then not actually showing it on. So I'll do that in the morning so you can see like most of these products used on my face. Anyway, I'm gonna pop these away um, and then I think mum and I are gonna have some lunch because it's just coming up for lunchtime. Hopefully she's got Lottie down to sleep. She is so good with her, honestly. My mum is like, you know, oh, she's just so, so good with her. Lottie absolutely adores her. So good at like getting her off to sleep and like keeping her entertained. I mean, Lottie is just easy anyway, but yeah, it's just so lovely seeing them together. Like Lottie just adores her. So it's so lovely that my mum gets to spend so much time with her, which is just, just perfect. She got my hand up and said she's like, oh, it's been a hard day. I know I just said I'm gonna try out the makeup tomorrow and show you how it looks on, but I have just quickly popped a few of the products on because I wanted to try them out. So I popped the same lipstick on, but I took the lipstick I had on already underneath off. So I just had a little, I've just got a little bit of lip liner on now and then that nude lipstick and it's so pretty. It's like the perfect kind of slightly sheer peachy nude shade. Like it's just definitely um, like my, my type of color um and then i've also popped on i popped on a little bit of concealer when i first put it on it looked a little bit light but blended out i think it's actually a really nice shade it brightens up my under eyes nicely so i've got the concealer on i also popped on the pinker blusher i don't know if you'll be able to tell yeah you actually can definitely tell can't you i've got on the pink blusher which is really pretty and then i also popped on the illuminator like that glow highlighter and i just put a little bit of that on a brush and like dabbed it on the top of my cheeks and again I feel like that looks really pretty as well it just gets a really lovely like dewy fresh highlight look without it looking too OTT um so so far those four products super impressed with um but like I said I will try the, well I'll try out the foundation tomorrow because that's one of the products I'm most excited about trying um good morning well actually afternoon now definitely yeah, well way into yeah well afternoon quarter past three I think it's just because I get used to saying good morning um, we have just pulled up outside of our house, the house that Lou has been 
renovating, you've been working on it this week, haven't you? Yeah, started this week, yeah. Started the works this week. Um, and we are actually just coming over this way for a beach walk, to be honest. And while we were here, Lou needed to pick his van up because he left it here. And so I thought I'd have a quick look and show you some updates. Although I don't think, you said there's not that much updates, like, changed, didn't no, you? a bit of mud. A bit of mud, a bit of a wall knocked down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a bit of investigation work this week. I just was worried Some... that he might need a wee or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, Raffi. Sorry. Was... No, you're fine. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Raffi was um, getting impatient. Lottie was half asleep, but she's still awake, so I'm going to carry her. I'm going to carry you in and we'll have a little look around and see what Daddy's been up to this week. Shall we? Um, so, yeah, just going to pop in, have a little look at, have a little, little look what's been going on in the house um, and a few I think a few of the plans have changed as well of what we were going to do like extension wise we were going to put a side extension on but I think Lou's changed his mind anyway anyway I will show you I'll grab Lottie he's not going to go off anywhere is he so this is what was once the conservatory and what was that was that a window up there yeah and that's obviously just blocked up with a wardrobe yeah oh nice <laughs> So yeah, this is a conservatory, knocked down, um, and this is going completely, this whole area, isn't it? So, the, no, it's going to stay like this, these are going to be replaced, because, you, look, this, this is no good. No, I know, Lou was saying that these are going to be replaced. Oh, that's a bit of a mess. Yeah, 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 that's a bit of a um, and then this would be like a patio. Yeah. Leading round into the garden. Oh, careful, Lottie. Lean in, lean in, girl. That's going to be doors there. Okay, that's now doors. Well, it will be doors, obviously. And then round here, gosh, some digging has been dug. Whoa. So obviously, they're the foot, footings for the extension, yeah? Yeah. So that's, this whole area is going to be an extension. All the way along here, side extension. You see, like, this little bit of concrete here, every shot that's kind of I can't believe how deep you have to dig down for footings. Yeah, well. Considering that's the old footing. Oh, don't, because that's... That's the old footing there. Yeah, that's mad, isn't it? That's, and you can go, look, we've gone underneath And you have to dig dug, double as... Double as... It was a foot. And this is now 600 by a metre. Whoa. Goodness me. And then there's not much to see inside, did you say? Going over and have a look. If you want, we'll go back to the front door. And then inside... God, it's dark in here. Yeah, it's because we've got a curtain drawn. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Drawn. No, no, you're fine. I'm not really going to show you much. Dingy, dingy. Yeah, inside it is literally just the same as it was, but muddy, basically, isn't oh, it? Oh, there's free Oh, lovely. Lou got, me a, Lou got me a cream egg and then ate it. <laughs> 90 for five. 90, oh, yeah. Easter sales. Um, Yes, the same in here, the carpets. I thought the carpets were getting ripped up this week. Oh, uh, this outside's the main, main, main thing at the moment. Fair enough. And yeah, everywhere in here is exactly the same as well, but just, but just muddy. But these are the plans, aren't they? Yeah. So, basically, that is what the house looks like. It's going to look like. It's going to look like, sorry, from the outside. Except and then, sort of. and- It's probably been changed a little bit now. So the only difference is like the utility room there and the garage is what the extension is going to be. Can you point to that? So, so, yeah, so we're in the kitchen. Yep. So this wall comes out. Yep. Um, so that becomes one kitchen dining room. Yep. All the way. That toilet comes out, which is that wall there. Yep. That comes out. So that means that this all becomes one, one big, big kitchen, living dining room. Let's go through that window, and that doubt there's going to be utility room. Be a door through this window into utility room. A little WC down the bottom. Then you'll do a left into the garage. Yeah, and that will be there. That's what the footing to be in. And upstairs, all that's changing upstairs is bathroom, ensuite. Bathroom, oh, bathroom's going to be bigger. Yeah. 
and then and the ensuite in the end of that bedroom and the rest of it's staying the same isn't it upstairs correct so we did think let me just move my camera around so we did originally think that we were going to do more than what we <laughs> originally think we were going to do more than what we are now going to do but when we kind of looked at costs and what what was worth doing it didn't make sense to do too much more than what we're doing <laughs> So that is what we're doing. Goodness me, we don't want to keep these carpets, do we? <laughs> and this is upstairs, so like, as you can see, these are the wardrobes that have been used to cover the window. Um, and then Lou was saying he found, oh, you're holding up against the window, I can't see. Face the other way. Lou was saying he found a very, very old newspaper from 1909. London, Wednesday, March 10th, 1909. I think that's worth anything. Don't know. An antique newspaper. newspaper. Where was it? Under the under the floorboards. On top, no, it was on top of the wardrobe. Which well, not, they're not. They're not hundred years no. old. No. That's from ninety six. That's not. doesn't look as old. Well, yeah. there you go then. That's, That's that. So yeah, upstairs nothing's changed apart from so yeah, um, mud all over the floors and, and where, where a window that's been ripped out. Is going to be an ensuite. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. Um, that's a little update. Not much to see. Oh, and, that comes in. and that will be that wall between the toilet and the bathroom will be knocked out, and that'll be one big. Is that all going to be one massive bathroom? Yeah. Cool. That's going to be a big bathroom, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to have bath, really big. Shower, the toilet. From basin. here, and then that chunky bit of wall, and then in here. Yeah. So you think the bath's going to swing around there, and then you're going to have a question. Back in the car now. Lou's gone off in his van with Raffi. Um, sorry, I feel like there was a little bit chaotic showing you around the house then. Like I feel I couldn't really because I had Lottie in one arm and I was trying to point onto the plans. I couldn't really show you properly. And Lottie is very much due a little nap. She's a bit overtired. Good morning. It is the following day now. It's Sunday, and we are about to do. I'm with Lou again. <laughs> we're about to do the beach walk that we didn't do yesterday because it rained all afternoon so we ended up after we went to the house we ended up going to Lou's parents to drop Raffi there for a bit because we we're going to do a food shop and kind of mooch around weren't we and then it rained all afternoon so we stayed there until literally like 10 o'clock at night got a curry and just chilled there watched all the afternoon football. watched the football and just had a very chilled afternoon at his parents house which is really as nice as, as soon as everyone knew the dog and Lottie were there yeah everyone started turning up yeah Lou's sister and her boyfriend came over and then obviously yeah Diane uh, Lou's mum and dad were there and we just had a nice chilled afternoon with them which was lovely um so we're gonna go and do the beach walk that we were planning on doing yesterday because it's a beautiful sunny morning as you can see from my chin um, and then we're going to kind of do the same plan as we did, as we were going to do yesterday, really, aren't we? Do a food shop, go and see my granddad, um, because I haven't seen him for a little while, so it'd be nice to see him. And um, yeah, just have a nice chilled Sunday. It is a very, very choppy one today, a very windy day. Hey. Uh. <laughs> that is one very, very tired little girly. Absolutely exhausted. She's had a very, very busy weekend. A wonderful busy weekend. Hey guys, it is Monday morning now and I was just going to finish the vlog yesterday but I want to jump on quickly this morning. <laughs> Excuse me. I want to jump on this morning really quickly to show you the Armani foundation on because I know I said I was going to. I did actually have it on yesterday as well but I didn't mention it so I thought I'd quickly show you this morning. I've got the foundation on, I've got the concealer on, I've got the other blush like the more kind of um, orangey like shimmery blush on and then I've got on the same lipstick that I had on the um, the peachy one with an NYX lip liner which I'll also link. I'll link all of the products that I've got on but I wanted to quickly show you this is how the foundation looks and I am loving it. The only thing is I did have to mix a little bit of a lighter. I'm coming, I'm coming. 
a little bit of a lighter foundation with it. I, it was, I think it was an Eborian, like BB cream. I put a tiny bit of that on because the foundation was a bit dark. But this is how it looks on. And I'm really liking it so far. So yeah, just thought I'd finish off showing you that. I'm needed. Thank you for watching. Um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Mwah.